Hey everyone and welcome back to Literary Reality. My name is Sata and today I'm here with my first review of 2023 and wow, <laughs> what a year so far. I'm tired, I'm exhausted. Is anyone else tired? I'm exhausted. Today I am here reviewing um, one of the books that I've managed to read and this book has been on my TBR list for a long time. I think I bought this book probably like two years ago now um, and I just thought, do you know what, why not start clearing through the TBR list. Um, so today I am reviewing People Like Her by Ellery Lloyd. So I have got the audiobook and I've got the Kindle version as well. I mainly listen to the audiobook and today we'll be going through the character or characters, the plot, and the writing. So let's get into it. People Like Her follows the story of mama influencer Emmy and her husband Dan and we see the perspective of Jill. Now all of their lives are intertwined mainly because of Emmy's influencing. Emmy is a influencer who goes by the name of Mama Bear who um, is all over Instagram talking about the highs and lows of being a mama um, and that's literally a quote like they love to say mama a lot um, and we kind of see the darker side to influencing. Now how does Jill come into it? Well Jill unfortunately lost her daughter and her granddaughter and somehow Emmy is to blame for all of this. Jill goes for revenge. Now how she does it is very crazy. Um, so there are a few trigger warnings especially as this like this is a mummy influency influencer kind of book. Um, so a lot of issues to do with fertility, abortion, miscarriages, loss of babies it's pretty much all in there so if you are um triggered by those topics i would say probably go ahead and skip this book because it does talk about it a lot um so the book is written from the perspective of emmy dan her husband and jill and we get to see their thoughts their feelings um and obviously what's going on emmy is an influencer um she doesn't realise that a lot of the things that she's saying and doing actually has an impact on real life people and her life being portrayed on social media um, people are people don't see her as a real person so there's a few creepy things that happens to her especially her children um, which goes to show that this kind of relationships that we have on social media with influencers and all of that stuff is actually kind of weird um, because because we see them a lot on um, our phones we don't tend to see them as um, real people so people like her kind of um, dives deep into that matter that subject matter of we need to be very cautious of what we are putting online um, what we are saying, what we are doing, and be aware of how um, people are watching us as well. So we have to be very, very safe as influencers. Okay, so that was plot. It's pretty uh, much a basic plot. Um, it is a thriller type book, but I wouldn't say it's... It is kind of creepy in the sense of there's a lot of stalkery things going on in the book. Um, but it's not uh, actually it's kind of terrifying in the sense like if you are a public figure on the internet you never know what people are using your image for so I would say it's very it's very creepy in that respect actually let me be honest let me be real right all of the characters in the book I did not like they are not likable people um there isn't anyone that you're rooting for which is kind of difficult especially like there's like creepy things happening wrong things happening to emmy but 
you're still like, I don't like you. Like, she doesn't deserve what happened to her. Mm. She doesn't deserve some of the things that's happened to her. But some of the things that she does do, you're just like, you're weird for that. Like, you shouldn't have done that. You're wrong for that. Um, Emmy Jackson, not likable. Her husband, more likable than Emmy, but still not likable. So, not likable at all. Jill, Jill, you feel sorry for, but still not likable because of what she does to Emmy and her family. Dan is a writer who is also a stay at home husband, I guess. So whilst Emmy's out her, at her influencing um, events and stuff, Dan will be at home looking after little the kids. So um, Emmy and Dan have two kids called Coco and Bear. Um, so that kind of gives you that kind of pretent pretentious feel for the characters. Who names their kids Coco and Bear? Um, and he is kind of against the whole influencing thing, but of course he's benefiting from it. So um, he's cautious. Like he's probably like the most smart character from the book, but he's still kind of dumb because in the end we kind of see that he kind of goes back on everything that he was fighting for and he enjoys the spotlight. Um, so he was kind of a hypocrite <laughs> at the end, especially with the trauma that they kind of went through. Um, but yeah, I don't want to talk too much because this is a spoiler free review. But yeah, none of the characters were likeable, I'm afraid, which sucks because I did enjoy the story um, and I enjoyed like the idea and the things that they were exploring through the book but for none of the characters to be likeable I don't know if the authors did that intentionally or not I don't know if I was supposed to root for them because I didn't and I don't feel bad about it so yeah <laughs> I did listen to audiobooks, so the narrators, the different actors that did the um, different characters, they did well. Um, especially Emmy's voice actor, she really got that kind of um, pretentiousness, kind of I'm above you um, kind of vibe, which was perfect. Um, I guess which kind of added to the, I don't like Emmy as a character. Um, the writing of the book, I wouldn't say, I would say it's like, okay. It's not terrible writing, um, but it's also not life-changing writing. So it was good, good enough to get you um, involved in the story. Um, the story was set in London as well. So that kind of helped me um, really visualize the story a lot more. Or, the events or the um, the setting um, because the areas that she was describing I know and I've been to so I can see it in my head so I actually felt like I was part of the story but the writing wasn't life-changing it wasn't that great so I don't know I don't know um, would I recommend yes and no if you like the idea of a thrillery type book kind of investigating okay not investigating but kind of showing the darker side to influencing and um the dark side to being a public figure i would say go for it but don't have high expectations whereas i also won't recommend it because you're kind of like, they've been, th it, some of it was just not realistic, like, <laughs> especially the ending is just not realistic, but maybe that's the kind of people that Emmy and Dan are, because they went through something real, for, like, for me, that would be really traumatic what happened to them, but it's like, they seem to get over it quick, and I'm just like, this is not realistic, babe, this is not real. it's not giving um 
so you guys are gonna be shocked at my rating <laughs> when I do give it because although I'm saying all these negative stuff I did enjoy like the ride of the book even though the pacing wasn't that great either it was quite slow at the beginning but then after maybe like the first 10 chapters it got going so it was quite good um but then it yeah it was a it was a roller coaster i enjoyed the ride but would i go on it again no no i wouldn't so all of that just to say that my rating was actually a three and a half but I had to round it up to a four. It was closer to a four than a three because again, I really enjoyed the idea of um, exploring those mummy issues, like struggling with infertility and miscarriages and um, abortion and all of that stuff. I always enjoy like reading about those topics because I'm not a mum yet. Um, <laughs> um, it's always good to read. Um, but again the writing the pacing the characters brought it down so three and a half i mean go and check it out but i wouldn't run i wouldn't run um to the bookshops to go and read it so yeah three and a half out of five stars so people like her Go and check it out if you have read it let me know um if you do plan to read it let me know in the comments as well but if you know any similar books thrillery books exploring different aspects of womanhood which i really like um please go ahead and recommend them in the comments but i just wanted to um get this review out there because it is a book that's been on my mind since I finished it so I have been thinking about it a lot but I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing so I just wanted to share this review with you guys I hope you enjoy that hopefully I will be back with some more reviews I've been reading some good books oh there's a book that I'm reading right now guys guys like if you have read A Little Life, no spoilers, but guys, that book is amazing. If you enjoyed that video, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.